In electronics and telecommunications, modulation is the process of varying one or more properties of a periodic waveform, called the carrier signal, with a modulating signal that typically contains information to be transmitted. Most radio systems in the 20th century used frequency modulation FM or amplitude modulation AM for radio broadcast. A modulator is a device that performs modulation. A demodulator, sometimes detector or demod, is a device that performs demodulation, the inverse of modulation. A modem from modulator demodulator can perform both operations. The aim of analog modulation is to transfer an analog baseband or low-pass signal, for example an audio signal or TV signal, over an analog bandpass channel at a different frequency, for example over a limited radio frequency band or a cable TV network channel. The aim of digital modulation is to transfer a digital bit stream over an analog communication channel, for example over the public switched telephone network where a bandpass filter limits the frequency range to 300 to 3400 Hz or over a limited radio frequency band. Analog and digital modulation facilitate frequency division multiplexing FDM, where several low-pass information signals are transferred simultaneously over the same shared physical medium, using separate passband channels several different carrier frequencies. The aim of digital baseband modulation methods, also known as line coding, is to transfer a digital bit stream over a baseband channel, typically a non-filtered copper wire such as a serial bus or a wired local area network. The aim of pulse modulation methods is to transfer a narrowband analog signal, for example, a phone call over a wideband baseband channel or, in some of the schemes, as a bit stream over another digital transmission system. In music synthesizers, modulation may be used to synthesize waveforms with an extensive overtone spectrum using a small number of oscillators. In this case, the carrier frequency is typically in the same order or much lower than the modulating waveform see frequency modulation synthesis or ring modulation synthesis. <laughs> <laughs> Analog modulation methods In analog modulation, the modulation is applied continuously in response to the analog information signal. Common analog modulation techniques include Amplitude modulation AM. Here the amplitude of the carrier signal is varied in accordance with the instantaneous amplitude of the modulating signal. Double sideband modulation DSB. Double sideband modulation with carrier DSB -WC used on the AM radio broadcasting band. Double sideband suppressed carrier transmission DSBSC. Double sideband reduced carrier transmission DSBRC. Single sideband modulation SSB or SSBAM. Single sideband modulation with carrier SSBWC. Single sideband modulation suppressed carrier modulation SSBSC. Vestigial sideband modulation VSB or VSBAM. Quadrature amplitude modulation QAM. Angle modulation which is approximately constant envelope. Frequency modulation FM. Here the frequency of the carrier signal is varied in accordance with the instantaneous amplitude of the modulating signal. Phase modulation PM. Here the phase shift of the carrier signal is varied in accordance with the instantaneous amplitude of the modulating signal. Transpositional modulation trademark, in which the waveform inflection is modified resulting in a signal where each quarter cycle is transposed in the modulation process. Trademark is a pseudo-analog modulation AM where an AM carrier also carries a phase variable phase F -O. Trademark is F -AM -O. Topic. Digital modulation methods In digital modulation, an analog carrier signal is modulated by a discrete signal. Digital modulation methods can be considered as digital to analog conversion and the corresponding demodulation or detection as analog to digital conversion. The changes in the carrier signal are chosen from a finite number of M alternative symbols, the modulation alphabet. A simple example, a telephone line is designed for transferring audible sounds, for example, tones and not digital bits, zeros and ones. Computers may, however, communicate over a telephone line by means of modems, which are representing the digital bits by tones, called symbols. If there are four alternative symbols corresponding to a musical instrument that can generate four different tones, one at a time, the first symbol may represent the bit sequence 00, the second 01, the third 10 and the fourth 11. 
If the modem plays a melody consisting of 1,000 tones per second, the symbol rate is 1,000 symbols per second, or 1,000 baud. Since each tone i.e., symbol represents a message consisting of two digital bits in this example, the bit rate is twice the symbol rate, i.e. 2,000 bits per second. According to one definition of digital signal, the modulated signal is a digital signal. According to another definition, the modulation is a form of digital-to-analog conversion. Most textbooks would consider digital modulation schemes as a form of digital transmission, synonymous to data transmission, very few would consider it as analog transmission. Topic. Fundamental digital modulation methods The most fundamental digital modulation techniques are based on keying. PSK phase shift keying, a finite number of phases are used. FSK frequency shift keying, a finite number of frequencies are used. ASK amplitude shift keying, a finite number of amplitudes are used. QAM quadrature amplitude modulation a finite number of at least two phases and at least two amplitudes are used in QAM and in phase signal or I, with one example being a cosine waveform and a quadrature phase signal or Q with an example being a sine wave are amplitude modulated with a finite number of amplitudes and then summed it can be seen as a two channel system each channel using ask the resulting signal is equivalent to a combination of PSK and ask in all of the above methods, each of these phases, frequencies or amplitudes are assigned a unique pattern of binary bits. Usually, each phase, frequency or amplitude encodes an equal number of bits. This number of bits comprises the symbol that is represented by the particular phase, frequency or amplitude. If the alphabet consists of m equals 2 n display style m equals 2 caret n Alternative symbols, each symbol represents a message consisting of n bits. If the symbol rate also known as the board rate is f s display style f underscore s symbols per second or board, the data rate is n f s display style n f underscore s bit per second. For example, with an alphabet consisting of 16 alternative symbols, each symbol represents 4 bits. Thus, the data rate is 4 times the baud rate. In the case of PSK, ASK or QAM, where the carrier frequency of the modulated signal is constant, the modulation alphabet is often conveniently represented on a constellation diagram, showing the amplitude of the I signal at the x-axis, and the amplitude of the Q signal at the y-axis, for each symbol. Topic. Modulator and detector principles of operation PSK and ASK, and sometimes also FSK, are often generated and detected using the principle of QAM. The I and Q signals can be combined into a complex-valued signal I plus JQ where J is the imaginary unit. The resulting so-called equivalent low-pass signal or equivalent baseband signal is a complex-valued representation of the real-valued modulated physical signal the so-called passband signal or RF signal. These are the general steps used by the modulator to transmit data. Group the incoming data bits into codewords, one for each symbol that will be transmitted. Map the codewords to attributes, for example, amplitudes of the I and Q signals the equivalent low-pass signal, or frequency or phase values. Adapt pulse shaping or some other filtering to limit the bandwidth and form the spectrum of the equivalent low-pass signal, typically using digital signal processing. Perform digital-to-analog conversion of the I and Q signals since today all of the above is normally achieved using digital signal processing DSP. Generate a high-frequency sine carrier waveform, and perhaps also a cosine quadrature component. Carry out the modulation, for example by multiplying the sine and cosine waveform with the I and Q signals, resulting in the equivalent low-pass signal being frequency shifted to the modulated passband signal or RF signal. Sometimes this is achieved using DSP technology, for example direct digital synthesis using a waveform table, instead of analog signal processing. In that case, the above DAC step should be done after this step. Amplification and analog bandpass filtering to avoid harmonic distortion and periodic spectrum. At the receiver side, the demodulator typically performs bandpass filtering, automatic gain control (AGC) to compensate for attenuation, for example fading, 
frequency shifting of the RF signal to the equivalent baseband I and Q signals, or to an intermediate frequency if signal, by multiplying the RF signal with a local oscillator sine wave and cosine wave frequency see the superheterodyne receiver principle. Sampling and analog to digital conversion ADC, sometimes before or instead of the above point, for example by means of undersampling. Equalization filtering, for example, a matched filter, compensation for multipath propagation, time spreading, phase distortion and frequency selective fading, to avoid intersymbol interference and symbol distortion. Detection of the amplitudes of the I and Q signals, or the frequency or phase of the IF signal. Quantization of the amplitudes, frequencies or phases to the nearest allowed symbol values. Mapping of the quantized amplitudes, frequencies or phases to codewords bit groups. Parallel to serial conversion of the codewords into a bit stream. Pass the resultant bit stream on for further processing such as removal of any error correcting codes, as is common to all digital communication systems, the design of both the modulator and demodulator must be done simultaneously. Digital modulation schemes are possible because the transmitter-receiver pair has prior knowledge of how data is encoded and represented in the communications system. In all digital communication systems, both the modulator at the transmitter and the demodulator at the receiver are structured so that they perform inverse operations. Asynchronous methods do not require a receiver reference clock signal that is phase synchronized with the sender carrier signal. In this case, modulation symbols rather than bits, characters, or data packets are asynchronously transferred. The opposite is synchronous modulation. Topic: <laughs> List of common digital modulation techniques. The most common digital modulation techniques are phase shift keying (PSK). Binary PSK BPSK, using M equals 2 symbols Quadrature PSK, QPSK, using M equals 4 symbols 8 PSK, using M equals 8 symbols 1 6 PSK, using M equals 16 symbols Differential PSK DPSK, Differential QPSK DQPSK, Offset QPSK OQPSK, Pi, 4 QPSK Frequency shift keying FSK Audio frequency shift keying AFSK Multi frequency shift keying MRE FSK or MFSK Dual tone multi frequency DTMF Amplitude shift keying ASK On off keying OOK the most common ASK form MRE vestigial sideband modulation for example 8 VSB Quadrature amplitude modulation QAM, a combination of PSK and ASK Polar modulation like QAM a combination of PSK and ASK Continuous phase modulation CPM methods Minimum shift keying MSK. Gaussian minimum shift keying GMSK. Continuous phase frequency shift keying CPFSK. Orthogonal frequency division multiplexing OFDM modulation Discrete multitone DMT, including adaptive modulation and bit loading Wavelet modulation Trellis-coded modulation TCM, also known as trellis modulation Spread spectrum techniques Direct sequence spread spectrum DSSS Chirp spread spectrum CSS According to IEEE 802.15, 4 ACSS uses pseudo-stochastic coding Frequency hopping spread spectrum FHSS applies a special scheme for channel release. MSK and GMSK are particular cases of continuous phase modulation. Indeed, MSK is a particular case of the sub-family of CPM known as continuous phase frequency shift keying (CPFSK), which is defined by a rectangular frequency pulse, i.e., a linearly increasing phase pulse of one symbol time duration, total response signaling. OFDM is based on the idea of frequency division multiplexing FDM, but the multiplex streams are all parts of a single original stream. The bit stream is split into several parallel data streams, each transferred over its own sub-carrier using some conventional digital modulation scheme. The modulated sub-carriers are summed to form an OFDM signal. This dividing and recombining help with handling channel impairments. OFDM is considered as a modulation technique rather than a multiplex technique since it transfers one bit stream over one communication channel using one sequence of so-called OFDM symbols. 
OFDM can be extended to multi-user channel access method in the orthogonal frequency division multiple access OFDMA and multi-carrier code division multiple access MCCDMA schemes, allowing several users to share the same physical medium by giving different sub-carriers or spreading codes to different users. Of the two kinds of RF power amplifier, switching amplifiers, class D amplifiers cost less and use less battery power than linear amplifiers of the same output power. However, they only work with relatively constant amplitude modulation signals such as angle modulation FSK or PSK and CDMA, but not with QAM and OFDM. Nevertheless, even though switching amplifiers are completely unsuitable for normal QAM constellations, often the QAM modulation principle are used to drive switching amplifiers with these FM and other waveforms, and sometimes QAM demodulators are used to receive the signals put out by these switching amplifiers. Topic. Automatic Digital Modulation Recognition ADMR. Automatic digital modulation recognition in intelligent communication systems is one of the most important issues in software-defined radio and cognitive radio. According to incremental expanse of intelligent receivers, automatic modulation recognition becomes a challenging topic in telecommunication systems and computer engineering. Such systems have many civil and military applications. Moreover, blind recognition of modulation type is an important problem in commercial systems, especially in software-defined radio. Usually in such systems, there are some extra information for system configuration, but considering blind approaches in intelligent receivers, we can reduce information overload and increase transmission performance. Obviously, with no knowledge of the transmitted data and many unknown parameters at the receiver, such as the signal power, carrier frequency and phase offsets, timing information, etc., blind identification of the modulation is made fairly difficult. This becomes even more challenging in real world scenarios with multipath fading, frequency selective, and time varying channels. There are two main approaches to automatic modulation recognition. The first approach uses likelihood based methods to assign an input signal to a proper class. Another recent approach is based on feature extraction. Topic. Digital baseband modulation or line coding The term digital baseband modulation or digital baseband transmission is synonymous to line codes. These are methods to transfer a digital bit stream over an analog baseband channel aka low pass channel using a pulse train i.e. a discrete number of signal levels by directly modulating the voltage or current on a cable or serial bus. Common examples are unipolar, non-return to zero NRZ, Manchester and alternate mark inversion AMI codings. Topic: <laughs> Pulse modulation methods. Pulse modulation schemes aim at transferring a narrowband analog signal over an analog baseband channel as a two-level signal by modulating a pulse wave. Some pulse modulation schemes also allow the narrowband analog signal to be transferred as a digital signal i.e., as a quantized discrete time signal with a fixed bit rate, which can be transferred over an underlying digital transmission system, for example, some line code. These are not modulation schemes in the conventional sense since they are not channel coding schemes, but should be considered as source coding schemes, and in some cases analog to digital conversion techniques. Analog over analog methods Pulse amplitude modulation PAM, Pulse width modulation PWM, and pulse depth modulation PDM. Pulse position modulation PPM, analog over digital methods Pulse code modulation PCM. Differential PCM DPCM. Adaptive DPCM, ADPCM Delta modulation DM or delta modulation Delta sigma modulation delta. Continuously variable slope delta modulation CVSDM, also called adaptive delta modulation ADM. Pulse density modulation PDM. Topic. Miscellaneous modulation techniques The use of on-off keying to transmit Morse code at radio frequencies is known as continuous wave CW operation. Adaptive modulation Space modulation is a method whereby signals are modulated within airspace such as that used in instrument landing systems.
equals equals see also